Listen to this song. But if it's worse, work, I gotta get shit straight before I lose my life. Top of the times I be for the bitch, I'll do but he hoes don't take advice. Took my heart and read that shit up, but it's all a part of life. While it might not be your type of music, it's undeniably a good song that could easily fit amongst anything that the top rap stars have put out. At the time of recording this video, the song only has 1,021 streams. Simply sending beats, demos, and ideas through Discord, they were able to put together a bunch of masterpieces. And no, this is not just a promo for their album, they don't even know that I'm making this video, but it's just crazy to me that people are putting this type of quality together in Discord. And after hearing this project, it kind of got me thinking, why would anyone sign a record deal? Artists are forming huge communities within Discord and coming out with songs that are beyond incredible. And if you make good stuff, people will listen. And with the ever expanding space of Discord, people might never need the help of a record label again. Yo guys, what is going on? 7 Max VI, AK 2017. And let's face it, most of the time people sign record deals to attempt to get the exposure on their music that they feel it needs. Well, theoretically, if you can get enough core fans through these Discord communities, the sheer consistency of streams and exposure could lead to algorithmic boosts on things like Spotify's Discover Weekly or Release Radar playlists. YouTube might boost you in their recommended section. SoundCloud could boost you in their related songs and whatever else. No matter what, signed or unsigned, you have to be consistent to get Ahead. And if you force yourself to be consistent within these communities, you could easily bring enough exposure to your music to make it a living. People like Patrick CC, Tri Freeze, Off Cadence, Sweeney, Next Up, and many, many more have Discord servers filled with so many talented underground artists and producers that are ready to collaborate. There really is no excuse for you not to get out there, build relationships, improve your weaknesses, and exploit your strengths. Can't afford to pay for your beats? Find a producer willing to do royalty splits. Can't put a nice verse on a song? Find an artist willing to do one. Can't mix a song properly? Find an engineer. All of these possibilities are literally at your disposal right now as you're watching this video on Discord. But you're probably thinking, what about the money? Almost every single record deal comes with what they call an advance where they just give you a set amount of money up front for you to spend on things that are supposed to help your music. But no matter how you look at it, it's a loan. You owe the record label that money back plus more because they are in the business of making money. And if you think an advance is something that's going to help your music, it's almost better to go to a bank and get a personal loan because you aren't obligated to pay a percentage of your earnings to the label. All the decision making will be done by you rather than allowing another entity to kind of steer your career where they want it. And you get to keep the ownership of your music, which is huge. I'm not encouraging anyone to go get a loan, by the way, this is just how I see it. Well, they may have connections to say high-end studios, marketing agencies and you know other artists that are already at the top, that doesn't mean that once you sign, you're gonna get access to all of these and that you're gonna be a major artist too. Statistically, big record labels sign more than one person per day, but yet we only see a handful of the artists from each of them. Why is that? It's simply because those artists were already the most popular before being signed, or they became the most popular after being signed, and so they delegate all of their resources and time to those artists. And if that isn't you after you sign, Best believe you'll be hung out to dry with loads of stress and debt to deal with. I know it might feel like you're just one signature away from falling to flying, but trust me, you can do it on your own. It feels like sometimes we aren't built for this life of doing what we love because our stats don't compare to those that are already in the position we wanna be in, but somewhere in the middle, it becomes easy. All I'm saying is don't be surprised if you see a bunch of groups coming from Discord servers and making some of the craziest moves in music history. I feel like soon enough, everyone will have the opportunity to be independent without worry. Take NFTs, for example. There's artists that are quite literally just uploading stuff that they have already posted to Twitter and selling them one-to-one -one and making thousands and thousands of dollars a day. You can do them for music. You can do them for digital art. There's so many cool opportunities like this that are just getting added onto the internet every single day. We're still so far ahead of this time so get to work make yourself proud and do what you enjoy nothing happens overnight so you got to be consistent be patient and things will change i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like comment down below your thoughts on the video and if you have a discord community yourself let us know anyways guys it's been your boy mmxvi and i'm out peace